All right, now this is our final section, section eight. We will introduce a new term in our language, if and only if. It's also called biconditional. So uh, the definition of if and only if statement is actually simple. So whenever I have uh, P implies Q and Q implies P, well, then I have, instead of writing this, I say P if and only if Q, all right? P if and only if Q. Sometimes we read this P is a necessary and sufficient condition for Q, equivalently Q is a necessary and sufficient condition for P, and or sometimes we call them as P is equal to Q, all right? Um, so if P and Q are sentences, well then P if and only if Q is also a sentence. All right, so what are the inference rules? Uh, the inference rules kind of comes from the definition of if and only if uh, statement. So whenever I have uh, uh, the inference rule eight, it's also called by condition. So if P implies Q is true, if Q implies P is true, therefore P if and only if Q is true. Well, this is just by definition. Well, similarly, if P if and only if Q is true, well, then P implies Q is true and Q implies P is true because this and term means both components must be true. All right, so this is, the, this is basically coming from the definition of uh, if and only if. And inference rule A in 9 is the equivalence, right? We said P if and only if Q means P is equivalent to Q. So when P is true, Q must be true and, and, and vice versa. And when P is wrong, Q must be wrong, vice versa. All right, this, this is what's summarized here in the equivalence rule. So if P if and only if Q is a true statement, and if P is a true statement, well, sentence, then Q must be true. Symmetrically, if P if and only if Q is true and Q is true statement, well, then P must be true. Um, on the other hand, if P if and only if Q is true, so P is equivalent to Q and not P is true, meaning P is false, so Q must be false. Remember, so equivalence in logical language means the truth values of two sentences are the same, all right? So if P is false, not P tr true being uh, P is false, then Q must be false. So therefore not Q must be true. And similarly, if P if and only if Q is true, I mean if P and Q are equivalent and if Q is false, P must be false as well. So this is, <clears throat> sorry, uh, the inference rule nine, which is called equivalence. So now uh, we would like to prove some theorems, but don't forget if you want to prove a conclusion or a theorem, like uh, some argument T, it could be not, it doesn't have to be an atomic sentence, it can be a sort of a, a, a conditional sentence, for example, a conditional uh, sentence or argument. T if and only if U, so how do you prove that? Well, you basically use the by condition rule, right? So you first show P implies Q, uh, I'm sorry, here it's not PQ, you must show T implies U first, and then how do you prove this? Assume T show U, and then you must sh show U implies T, meaning assume U show T. And once you prove one and two, uh, by using the by condition property of line one and two, voila, you have T if and only if U. All right, so this is how we prove the if and only if statements. So it's longer than uh, a conditional derivation, for example.